Hello gamers of the Gameport. welcome back and we're actually back to doing another Rusticons Rumble uh, card review. There's been so many cards since the first video I did on this. The since really uh since announcement of this and when I did my last video there was sixteen new cards and I did those. We have six D when I'm recording this. And so there's forty four cards to go. Uh yeah, it's a lot. So I gotta start getting through them. Very cool cars. We're starting to see how this, how the stuff's adding up and working together and stuff. So let's start off from where we left off. Uh, we have t the we left off at Cannon Barrage. So the that night, uh, Timeout came out and was announced. So it's a new Paladin spell, three mana. Uh, your hero is immune until your next turn, and so. Lots of people immediately, because we only saw this, it was like a, an individual card reveal, it was it by itself. Um, people were freaking out, thinking this is the next ice block. It falls in that same category, three mana, protecting from death. Um, it's not the same. You set up ice block any time during the game before you die, and then when you're about to die, it saves you. This, you have to exactly know when you're about to die, and that, so it's like, this is a tech card against a specific deck, this does not see any play except for, uh, except as a tech card, or it finds its place in just a normal deck to buy one turn. When you, uh, know you're gonna die, you buy an extra turn in some OTK Paladin. Anyways, next, four mana, Ticket Scalper, 5-3, Overkill, draw two cards, um... So this has to kill something with four or less attack, uh, four or less health, and actually have three or less attack. And this has to survive a turn. I don't really see it being that good. Uh, six mana heavy metal spell for a warrior. Uh, summon a random minion with cost equal to your armor up to ten. So you can cheat out uh, ten drops. We saw that with the minion that also came along with the body, uh, and that didn't see that much play, so this won't see play. Uh, belligerent Gnome, 2 mana, 1 4 taunt. If your opponent has 2 or more minions, gain 1 attack. So this is the, um, there's the guy for Warlock, the 2 mana, 2 4 taunt that de deal 2 damage to your her hero. That is this, but your opponent has to have two or more minions, and uh, that seems fair. If you're, uh, con I don't know, a slower deck against an aggressive deck, that can work out to be a good defense. Uh, taunts are nothing to be joked about, so it'll probably see play in some even deck as a two-drop. Um, yep. Spirit of the Dead. One mana stealth, priest spirit. Uh, stealth for one turn. After a friendly minion dies, shuffle a one-cost copy of it into your deck. Honestly, when I first saw this, I just started thinking of all the cool combos, and I was like, man, this card's insane. You do this with, like, I don't know, just have this in your big fucking deck, and then you pull them all out with Xerox Cloning Gallery, and then you AoE them with the cost reduction from the Radiant Elemental, and then doing all that, or maybe there's a Pyro in your deck, and then any spell... Um, anyways, then after you get all the one cost, oh wait, this can't die, this has to not die. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, because they're all one HP, he has three. Uh, so then it's Buam, Buan Zamdi the Dead, battle cry, draw one cost minions from your deck until your hand is full. So you can see the direct combo, you can run two spirits of the dead, um, value generator, OPOP, OP, I love it. Uh, Ironhide, Dire Horn, seven mana, five, five, uh, <laughs> Weird minion for Druid. Uh, this is Overkill Summon, a 5-5 five, five Ironhide Runt. Uh, this card's interesting. Won't see any play. Druid's OP. Um, Und Dasta. Maybe if we need beast synergy, but I don't. I don't. I doubt it. Nine mana, seven seven. Rush Overkill Summon a beast from your hand. Hence this card. So it wants you to run a nine mana, seven seven rush that cheats out this guy. Okay. Maybe? No. Uh, Gur maybe it can make it work because Druid is so absurd. Uh, Gurabashi Chicken. So, <laughs> this is a funny one. 1 mana, 1 1 overkill, gain 5 attack. There you go. So, buff its health, get it angry, and then hit him in the face. 
bad. Uh, how high am I supposed to go? Oh yeah, up to here. Can't show those. Okay, these are the last 10 that I'll show today. Uh, so this is 19 cards covered today. Um, so, because I don't think I should do all 44 in one. Anyways, 7 mana. Uh, Paladin Epic. A new challenger. Dot, dot, dot. Discover a 6 cost minion. Summon it with Taunt and Divine Shield. Discover. So... How good is a six, a random, well, it's pseudo random six drop with Taunt and Divine Shield. Sounds great, dude. This is a great uh, card because generating a Taunt Divine Shield for seven, that is pretty beefy. Cool. Maybe you get, maybe there's some really good ones too, especially maybe there's a six drop that comes out in this uh, expansion, which you would expect. Or this can go across uh, class two, maybe. Whenever you target a minion with a spell, it also targets adjacent ones. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. What is the example? Like, what? Lightning Bolt? So this is a 4-mana 1-3 that does three Lightning Bolts. And it doesn't say that it um gives you extra overload. It just makes them target adjacent ones, too. Uh, so Water Boy was shown off in the Mage one, and it was a two minute two one that your next hero power this turn costs zero. I'm not sure where to place this hero power mage yet. It's pretty interesting. So I'll come back to this card once I read the other three. Uh, seven mana four four. I don't. Uh, Jen Jen Janale the Dragon Hawk Battle Cry. If your hero dealt hero power dealt eight damage this game, summon Ragnaros the Fire Lord. That card's great if it's easy to do. It depends on how hard is it to deal 8 damage with your hero power. Do you have to run shitty cards? I wonder. So then we have Spirit of the Dragonhawk Stealth for one turn. Your hero power also targets adjacent minions. So this becomes a 4 mana, 3... Oh, uh, what's it called? The... Uh, it's a 1 card combo that has a built-in uh, for 4 mana... Instead of three, the stupid PPU thingy, uh, star, whatever the fuck, the three, the three stars, uh, three, one damage. Yeah, that. So slightly more expensive, but it's a minion that sticks around and then your hero powers can combo with buffs. So that like the next buff, one mana daring fire eater, your next hero power this turn deals two more damage. So then you start getting a combo where with daring fire eater, water boy and spirit of the dragon hawk. For for five mana, you get all three of them in play, and you deal three damage to three targets for free. So it's basically like five mana dusk breaker with three bodies plus your hero power per, for the next turn, also being adjacent. Yeah, seems pretty good. And then e very easily in that one combo, you get. The uh, effect activated for Janale, the Dragonhawk. So that card's insane. And then you wonder to yourself, I have this seven mana guy. How can I get more of these? So you start running uh, Zola, fucking Baleful Banker, and all that shit. You just start making copies, you know, figuring out ways to make a billion of them. Augmented Elec and Baleful and Zola. What else is there? I don't even know, dude. It's pretty cool, though. You start you start getting your mind wrapped up in the thought of that, though. It's pretty neat. Uh, one Mana Shriek. Discard your lowest cost card. Oh, yeah, this whole th sel selection of cards is really, really cool. And I think this is the final push we needed to get Discard, uh, discard Warlock to be a thing. We said... Blizzard, we need a, a more consistent way of discarding cards. Oh, here we go. Discard your lowest cost card. Wow, that's very specific. Very easy to do. Okay, good. So you can definitely target out a card to discard like a shitty one drop. Awesome. Discard your So you won't discard Doom Guards. You could discard a Soul Fire potentially, but if that's the deck. Deal two damage to all minions. So this is anti... Okay, so the point of... The new discard deck is going to be different, okay? That's that's the difference. Uh, it's not going to be discard zoo into the quest. It's going to be D 
deal with your shit while discarding the garbage that I maybe generate off of other garbage, like specifically Shriek and Firefly sounds pretty good, or the Flame Elemental, the other one that gives you more garbage fucking tokens to your hand, stuff like that. Uh, there's other another one too. Four mana, High Priestess, Jeklik, uh, Taunt, Lifesteal, 3-4. This is just a premium fucking minion. This is broken. When you discard this, add two copies of it to your hand. Wow. Imagine that's your lowest card, and you just keep discarding that. Like, it, it get, there's some dumb shit. Okay. Reckless Dire Troll. Taunt, Battle Cry, discard your lowest cost card. Where all of these cost barely anything, so you want it to probably cost one, the card you're discarding. Also, if you have all one cost cards and you discard one, it's going to be random, probably, of the one cost cards, or two cost cards, if you have two, 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 two cost cards. Then we have the final card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention. That guy is a three mana two six taunt. This is broken. This is what they needed. Okay. So not only is it a discard card, but it's not a... a, a... Well, okay. I get... Yeah, yeah. It's it's just because the discard's better. Because it's lowest cost card, it's way better. Uh, you're not going to discard your Ghoul Dan. You can actually run it and these cards. So here we have one, two, three, four. Only four discards of six. Makes it a lot easier because then we can run potentially the Doom Guards, the Soul Fires, the... Succubuses, etc., whatever else we need for discard. Uh, we might get more synergy. Probably not. Add three random cards you discarded this game to your hand. Six mana, six, six. Wow. It's just so broken. The value generation, the god tier, self correcting deck. It's so good. It has everything. It has taunts, life still healing, AoE. The the quest completion, the ghoul... Now it can run ghoul... This is crazy. And even if you discard a good card, you can get it back with Soul, Soul Warden. It's crazy. I love all these new cards. I'm so excited for the new expansion. So there's another, like, 25 cards to show. But uh, I'll save that for the next video tomorrow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to hit that little bell to receive a little extra piece of notification. Ding! And I'll see you guys uh, later in the next episode.